animation builder. Now, as you can see, when it gets to the when it gets to the end frame, uh, it bounces right back, and uh, that's that's uh, that's how that works when you're doing keyframe right up to the keyframe. Now, there's um, like 3D Studio uh, is a program I used to do animation in back in the day and uh, if you ever go to like you know the Disney website or read things about animation there's all sorts of things that back in the day when they did Mickey Mouse and everything oh they do stuff like squash and stretch um, and that's where an animal you know if you bounce a ball you know and the ball bounces in and it doesn't just go bang 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 you know it comes down on an angle and when it hits it kind of compresses so it stays down there longer and then the ball gets distended and squishes and then it bounces back up and heads back out and then when it gets to the top it'll slow down a little on its apex and so those are all the kind of things that make animations pretty and so we strive to do that so in our builder and I'm gonna go ahead and close this and uh, man I got four billion things open here so there's file prefix and I really don't need that anymore so I'm gonna clean up my animation folder here a little bit I don't need these either okay so let's delete all that Get to watch me clean up my hard drive in a video and um, let's come back here and look and say um, let's do this then notice that when we move an object though we have an ease an ease means when an object starts it starts slow and then goes to its given um, rate of where it's got to go across how many frames across space then when it gets to the end of the path then it eases again so what I want to do is I want to animate this not with a rotate where I have no ease okay but with a move so that I can move this and take advantage of the ease and again that is what gave us this animation and you can see it doesn't bounce at the end it goes up and slows down a bit and then starts and comes back and it's doing its even rotation as it does it okay so here's how we do this and it's it's tricky uh, these are little fragments of rotation points that I really don't need. Um, okay, so let's see if I can do this. And uh, I'm going to close my render thing here. Okay. The whole idea then is that we're going to start here. Uh, everything's going to look basically the same, uh, except for to do the rotation. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw a curve and I'm going to do a radius from this point down to F4 and then go minus 20. Now if you recall um, if you recall the animation goes from here around and then a total of 40 Here's, here's where I get that from. Uh, it's on the very last part of the animation. It's right down here. The rotation amount is 40 degrees. Okay, so that means it's 20 on this side to 0 and 20 on this side. I think you get the point, I hope. So now here, so then I'm going to click there and then type 40. And there's my curve. Now we need to check the direction of this curve because the direction of the curve determines which end it starts on when you click and say you're a path. So we go to utilities and go to direction and you can see this is the beginning and it's going this way. That's why I drew it that way. Yay. Okay. There's another little dot that I don't need. Now this part is super confusing and um, I'll do my best to explain what's going on and we hope to make this a little more straightforward um, in the in the next version of, of animation builder but 
Uh, let's see. Let's leave. I'm going to try to leave all these alone and let them do their spinning thing. Except for I'm going to turn off the partial frames because um, we're going to only do half this animation. We're going to go from here over and then back. And hmm. That's going to be too slow, but we'll leave it at 60. All right. My my next animation will probably be twice as long. Well, yeah, now we'll do 30. We'll do. We'll make it the same. Um All right, so let's see here. So we have 30 frames because now we're only doing half an animation. Here's my path, okay, and um, I've got these objects, so what needs to happen is, and, and I will say, at any given time when you're all set up to do your animation, you can come over here to File and Save to File, and, you know, Movie Animation, you know, whatever it is, and uh, there we go. Okay, so now, uh, let's see, this object, and this object, and this object, this object, are not rotating anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm going to zero this out so it doesn't bug me. And I'm going to put these objects in here. Okay. And, let's see, why am I moving this? Okay. Oh, I know why. So you can see the command line. All right. So now let's move this up as much as we can. And let's see if you guys can see this in the bottom. Oh, it won't let me do that. Okay. Right down here at the very bottom is move. So we click move. And the minute we click move up here in the command line, it says which type uh, and we want to do an orient move. Pick the move path, and that's here. Now, i got to tell you, this is the confusing part. Oh, and we want to orient X, Y, and Z, and turn E's on. And I hope you can see that. There, I moved it right down at the bottom, orient, X, Y, Z, and E's. Okay. Now, if we come over to animate... Here's the confusing part. These things all move, and it's just whacked. And you're like, oh, no. But look what it did. It's a, it's, it's a given, and you can see that the diamonds are turning. Everybody's turning, but it's going sideways, okay? So what do we do? What we do is we go back, and it jumps back. And um, what needs to happen is this: we need to we need to fix this so that it orients itself. Because if you've ever used uh, what is it, um, orient perpendicular to curve, that is a viewport dependent tool that you have to click in this viewport and then pick in this viewport or, and so on and it'll orient itself correctly. So this is not oriented correctly for this path curve. So what I happen to know, or at least I, I'm kind of starting to remember, is we're going to start out by rotating this from the center of itself up to this point right there and we're going to rotate that using ortho straight over and then, let's go back and scrub and see how close we are. Animate. Uh, now we're going to have to fix the, uh, we're going to have to fix again the, uh, the pivot points of this stuff, which is fine. Let's go back to configure. And I think next we have to... Uh, pick this, and this, and this, and this, 
and let's go rotate from maybe what the quad 